Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor and welcome to the free Unity assets for September, October 2022. And this month features over 65 different free assets, including games, scripts, editor extensions, characters, and so much more awesome stuff. I will feature towards the end all the free Unreal Engine Marketplace assets for this month. And I do have a tutorial where you can convert that for Unity 2. And be sure to check out all the links in the description for all the best game dev savings across Unity, game engines, game design theory, and so much more. And I keep them all up to date to keep you in the know. Also check out my Patreon if you want to get access to over 165 different scripts assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. So first of all, we're going to start off with scriptable dynamic crosshair, which is compatible with Unity's new input system and Cinemachine, fully scalable and easy to customize. So you can easily edit this package by changing the size or the color smoothly between two values with one line of code. So you can create multiple sizes and lots of different customization. The next one is Rival, the dots character controller for Unity, which I think was acquired by Unity very recently. Then this previously was an established asset on the Unity asset store, which uses dots physics to create a very robust character controller, which has continuous collision detection. You can snap to the ground, supports gravity, convex colliders. You can walk on slopes, receive external forces, filter out collisions, and do lots of advanced character controller techniques. The next one is the stylized customized avatars free. And this includes two particular types with male and female, a editable body parts with editable hair, faces, clothes, blinking with lots of different supports for custom editors, demo scenes, and mechanism supported across the board. The next one is the BR200 Battle Royale Multiplayer with Photon Fusion. And this is a AAA style Battle Royale example, which includes fully networked animations, weapon system projectiles, jetpacks, recoil, loot chests, grenades, shrinking circles. And it's just a robust example to show you how to create clean code and integrate this to a multiplayer scenario. Next one is the free pixel art overworld tile set. And this is a sweet 16 by 16 tile set of an overworld style, whether you want it as a map or something you're gonna journey on to make an adventure or RPG game with some mountains and cloud presets. The next one is something called Raycast Radar, which uses a bunch of Raycasts to process your environment that you have around the world. And this is written to a 2D texture, which makes it look like a radar style scenario. The next one is the UI toolkit sample Dragon Clashes by Unity. Utilization to teach you alongside their ebook about the UI toolkit for professional artists and UI designers for Unity 2021, which features tabs, interactions, input systems, render textures, UI overlays, animations, and so much more that you can check out. The next one is the XS Grid Editor. This is a lightweight square grid map system for 2D, 3D RPG style games. And this allows you to take the prefab brush to add or remove tiles. And it comes with a top down camera so you can be able to adjust the ranges, the scales. The next one is the free one bit forest. And it's a 16 by 16 tile set and background of a forest in one bit for that very monochrome style. The next one is the 2D modular cards kit demo. And this is a demo for making an old style card game. This includes four sprite sheets, textures 128 by 128, and the true resolution is around 120. And it includes six variations of the front, the back with decorative frames, shadows, text ribbons, 10 icons, frames, flags, and lots of different customization in this demo. The next one is something called more attributes, which is a set of attributes that require different functions. So you've got label plus, header plus, read only, read only on play, read only on prefab, hide on play, hide on prefab, tag, and scene. And these can be fully explained in the online documentation. The next one by the same developer is something called cone mesh. And this generates a cone mesh renderer and collider on the fly. So you can add this to the Unity style primitives that already come with it. The next one is the Audio FX Toolkit. And this is a collection of examples and scripts to create your own audio effects. So this comes with two distortion algorithms, a delay, a simple low pass, an all pass filter, feedback, table wave, 
tremolo and a simple reverb so you can add these interesting examples and components to the sound effects you already have. Next one is Nova UI free trial. So this is a complete look at Nova UI and it's exactly the same as the paid version but it's only available to work in the editor and it's not burst optimized so you can't build this out and these samples come with imagery systems, mobile menus, XR hand support, UI controls, it's got rounded corners, borders, gradients, it's got loads of advanced customization features out of the box to create a super a triple a look of a ui so the next one is the free fantasy terrain textures and this is specifically by the developers of path painter which allows you to have different textures to create specific paths but this is actually free to everybody as well so you can get access to 18 different terrain textures with four styles adjusted for resolution and variation the next one is Readme Lite, where you can add simple documentation readmes to any game object, component or reference in line with your project. So it includes rich text support, inline object fields, you can source view in the editor, it's got bold italic colour size and object reference. Last but not least is pools and this is a pooling system to create pools of objects to be able to reuse them and you can create pools of objects from code, you can work with objects of any type not just the base class, you can change the pool settings dynamically, set specific containers, add existing objects to the pool, use the manager to keep all of it organized and easily initialize pool objects for any special need. So do stick with me here and make sure you like this video and I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the free marketplace assets on the Unreal Engine for October 2022 and I do have the tutorial to be able to import these into Unity. So first of all we have the 4-in-1 Modular Research Facility Mega Bundle with over 800 different meshes with modular environments for exterior interior props whether that's offices, buildings, 100% optimized with lights doors fully blueprinted whether you want across all these AAA quality models. The next one is the advanced AI spawn system which requires one blueprint for the entire level and the system works in construction script and will, you'll immediately see the result and you can use any number of spawn areas with individual spawn settings suitable for spawning in confined spaces and has been supported throughout the years with a load of different functionality. The next one is the Halloween pumpkins with 150 different variations. So this includes 146 total meshes with 66 textures and it's a realistic PBR set of AAA quality optimized models straight to go. The next one is the Undead Pack which includes LODs for each of the characters with five different characters with various textures across each 65 animations in a PBR style. Next one is the zombie movement and modular interaction animations and this is 34 handcrafted animations which include for zombies and specific interactions whether that be a raw, a crawl, standing, standing on the leg, attacks, attacking, crawling and lots of different things for wrestling, grappling and so much more. And last but not least is the fantastic village pack which is over 400 unique assets to build your own village, fully modular which include defenses, modular walls, fences, spikes and various bits of furniture, carts, foods, flags and so much more. So be sure to check out all these insane assets for this month, be sure to check all the links out in the description for all the best savings across Unity, Game Dev and so much more and be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 165 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Be sure to check out my great assets on the Unity Asset Store and on my website for all the great savings you can make. Big thank you to all my patrons including Peter Steiner, Raheem Wittker, Jean Pommy, Manos Berikas, Terence Conrad, Walter Dunson, René Leisure, Topher Chambers, Alyssa Faden, Daniel Gatterjank, Ishkawa Takuya, Ronje, Hush, Thomas Merseleski, Callum Murray, Mark Rondu, Abyss Gaming, Marvin Church, Osame Abdon, Hoglan Nigan, and Nopatun. So thank you to everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.